Isabella Houston mother is trying to make sense of the unthinkable. Her 18 year old son was shot to death outside of a house party in Humble. Fox 26's Domily Keith joining us there live on Fieldwick Lane this evening after this tragic shooting over the weekend. Domily, what have you learned today? Yeah, it, it's certainly tragic. Jarvon Coles was a senior in high school looking forward to prom and graduation, but here outside of what was supposed to be a celebration, his promising life was cut short and he was taken away from his mom and loved ones. He did not deserve that. We did not deserve this. I worked so hard. I was so proud to see him walk across the stage. I was so ready. Now, instead of planning for prom and graduation, Brittany Coles has to bury her 18-year-old son. This kid was the perfect example of a child. Like, this is a kid everybody pray for. This is a child that every mother wants, like, straight A, on a roll student. In fact, North Shore High School senior Jarvon Coles wasn't sure if he'd accept an academic or a football scholarship to college. He excelled at both. Oh, I still have not saw him. So that's why it's not real to me. I'm just waiting for him to come out. I know he gonna come out. The 18 year old had just spent the day with his family for his granddad's birthday Saturday. Then he headed to a party with friends. When he left, he just did something different that he don't normally do. He hugged everybody individually. And then when he was walking out the door, he waved to everybody. He was like, bye everybody. And I just, that was the last goodbye. Harris County Sheriff's investigators say it was a party at a short-term rental home in Humble that was advertised on social media, and someone took aim at the event from a couple of blocks away, shooting the star student and athlete four times. This is not making sense. And out of 100-plus kids, only one got shot multiple times. I'm always so strong for everybody, but this has truly broke me. Jarvan's mom is left particularly heartbroken because the way he died is not indicative of how he lived and the bright future he had ahead of him. You don't know how many people you have hurt. You robbed a good kid. And you robbed me of that moment. You took that from me. <laughs> Detectives are now looking through surveillance video and any home cameras trying to figure out who did this and why. And this is as uh, Jarvan's coach and so many people who loved him are now posting on social media just about how much he shined and, and how his light could just brighten any room in everyone's day and also how his light will continue to shine and glow in the hearts of those who love him. Reporting live in Humble, I'm Domily Keith, Fox 26 News. Domily, this is just a heartbreaking story and I know that Jarvan has siblings. Did you find out how they're doing at this point? Caroline, it's absolutely heart heartbreaking. He has two younger brothers who don't know yet that their big brother has been killed. And in fact, uh, when we were there, his uh, five-year-old brother was asking when was Jarvan coming home. So it's really tough on this family right now, and they are asking for everyone's prayers. Wow, Domily, I know you're a parent too, so I know that this is a tough story for you to report on. Thanks so much for bringing us up to date. Very difficult. I've got a senior in high school oh. also. Very tough. Thanks, Domily.